guys, so today I am going to be going to two Goodwill thrift stores. I'm actually at the one right now. Uh, Erica's home with the dog. We're still kind of just not wanting to keep her by herself right now, uh, but she is doing so much better. So I just want to thank everyone again for your continued positive uh, thoughts and prayers. Um, I'm just so like relieved and this is the first time I've been out of the house since like, um, last week so i am trying to get back to a little bit of normalcy uh just for like you know my sanity's sake eric's like go to the thrift store today get out of the house do something so that's what i'm doing today so we are stopped at one first goodwill i'm gonna try and do two separate videos today we'll see how it goes we'll see if i have to do voiceovers for this i have no idea um sometimes the music is kind of loud at both of these goodwills um but yeah i am just really excited to do a little bit of shopping and just check some stuff out so let's go in and see if we can find anything I'm just gonna stick that in there for now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're really heavy. I'm not quite sure what they're made out of. I think that's from Target. What is this? General purpose cleaner. This is a record. Clockwork punk. Interesting. Just gonna look it up. Floyd Spears. Jetty Pro. This is an Estee Lauder Lily Pulitzer makeup bag. I actually have one of those. Here we go. We're gonna cook something again today. Our first ingredient is sweet peas. <laughs> we'll see what we can make. Some oven mist. Nice. vacuum cleaner bag. And some random stuff. These are like party decorations. Okay. Let's move along here. Check out this end cap. Rain poncho. All this here last time I was here. Some Barbie. Puzzle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get down here a little further. Anything hiding down here? Don't really see anything. That looks like it was started. Another Estee Lauder bag. It's one of those um, string art pieces. Can't tell what's in there. Oh, I think it's just like floral type um, pieces. Some toys. Some kind of like decorative edge. 
scissors. Oh, $13 for those. Tart warmer. What's this? Jonathan Adler candle. Smells good. I might look that up just in case. Right. That's why I was here. I found a really nice bag and it ended up being... I think there was stuff wrong with it. This is a nice Tegnanello. Banana Republic. The problem with bags like these, these fake leather bags, is that they just crumble apart over time. They just don't hold up. And if they're sitting in your closet and you're not using them, they really just like go to crap. This one is called Cheryl Lee. I know I've heard of that before. The handles though are like coming apart. So it's definitely not something I'd want to pick up. Another Jessica Simpson. What is this black? Kenneth Cole reaction. It's a lot of Nine West totes. This one's a fossil. Brown. What do they have on that? $7. It is leather. I like that. Oh, I don't know though. It's kind of plain, but not everyone's looking for anything crazy. I'm gonna say no because the zipper pull is missing. So we're gonna set that back down. Let's move along to some regular aisles. They're putting stuff away, so. Monster power. Oh, look at this little trinket box. This is cute. This little bird just chilling. Yeah, well, it's broken, so.
some homemade bath salts. Some Lily Pulitzer. Are they like blank cards? I think so. And there's probably some missing, but I could use those as thank you cards. They don't have a price. It makes me wonder if like there's a lid to these buried somewhere that has the price on it. Might have to and find that. Okay, what is this thing here? That's kind of creepy. Cheryl Johnson. It's in really rough condition. Chris Puff. And I have $2.99 on these, and it looks like there's probably some missing, so I'm not going to get those. They were like $0.99. Cents. I'd consider then. That one mug I was looking at had a lid at some point, but it's missing. The Barbie spa set. They're pretty color. Okay, oh, not really seeing anything in this aisle, so let's keep on going. There's a lot of patterns. I know some people do well with patterns. Um, the only problem is most of them are always open. Some cut. I like these little vintage frill dresses. Maybe I'll look up one or two out of sheer curiosity. I looked up like one of the patterns, but I wasn't really all that impressed. What's in these boxes? Now these are the Avon Cape Cod. These like ruby colored. What do they have here? I feel like Eric once said that the butter dish was like one that's actually here, bread and butter dish. I wonder if it's that. I'm gonna just check a couple of these just to make sure. Footed sauce boat and pitcher. Okay, I looked up some of those Avon Cape Cod um, pieces, but none of them None of them are really worth anything. So, this is a Starbucks mug. However, I never know if they're like ones that came out in like Walmart Christmas gift sets or if they're like actually ones that were sold in the store. I'm just gonna sit that in there. We'll look it up here in a minute. I kind of want to get through a little bit. I feel like I'm stopping every five seconds, but they're still putting stuff on the shelves, and it makes me feel slightly in the way, because these aisles are super, super tiny. All right, let's look over here. James Sadler. That's got some coffee stains in it. Oh, goodness. What do we got hiding under here? A tissue box cover. I kind of feel like I looked at that last time I was here, but I might check it again just to make sure. Kim or Jim? Kim Anderson's Forever Young Snow Globe. That's cute. Let's 
what's in this box? Is it blind or something? <laughs> it's like a thing filled with milk glass vases. Forever fresh. Okay. Ooh. This is obviously missing a top. It's just a body to something. <sighs> the Starbucks mug isn't really worth anything, but I think I'm going to get it for myself because I like it. So, on to the next. Oh, this aisle is kind of doesn't have much, much on the shelves over here. Which is fine by me because it's a clear aisle. <laughs> anything, 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 anything. Okay, let's check the other side. What's in this box? Kind of looks like a punch bowl or something. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I was right. Oh goodness, this is super heavy. Oh my gosh. I need Eric here to help me like look. With clear glass, it's hard to like find. Sometimes they do have like etched, etched in the glass, the makers. Ooh, that does not look safe. <laughs> Someone moves that, they're all gonna come flying out. Okay, let's go down this orange aisle. Traveling chess game. Oh, how cute. I was expecting it to like not have the pieces in. That's cute though. It looks like one of the black pieces is missing. Scoo polish. Got a tiki tray. A corona hat. Pigow. That seems really cheap and chinzy, but. Maybe it's something. What are these? The Wee Folk Stones. Oh, those are a Boyd's thing. I'm going to open that up and look at it, though. That's really pretty. $2.99. Color wave. Add or taped in there. All right, where we got on this side? Up oh, there's more of this Avon. Cape Cod stuff. A filing box of some sort. Lots of candles. from the Toy Story. Music, seen it. What's in this box? Athio Schwartz. Custom build a coaster. 
It's originally $60. I wonder if it's new. <laughs> These little dolls are cute. Don't know where they came from. Kind of laying in there. Oh, hedgehog. What the heck is this thing? It's like a vase, maybe, of some sort. And some wooden mugs. The more people I meet, the better I like my cat. <laughs> what are these things? They look hand painted. LED puck lights. Wasp traps. Don't really need those. This is a nice recipe book. I do have one. Oh, kiddo. I know. We have a whole anything in here? Deluso Designs. It's taped shut, so of course I can't see what actually is in there. Put puzzles of some sort. The Longa Burger basket. Head on over to the other set of toys and around this side here. on that. Got $25 on that. I feel like that's how much it would cost in the store, but it might be more in the store. This is cast iron. This is made in China. done but it is and I just finished watching this series on Netflix. We're currently watching Trailer Park Boys. Oh, 
Okay. I haven't looked at records in a long time. I go through phases where, like, I want to buy records and I want to look at records and then I see records and I'm like, I don't even want to look at records. <laughs> I've sold a Starbucks mug that looked like that with a cork bottom, but that one is not Starbucks. It's like just a piece of cardboard box there, Michelle. Got some VCRs. Just some random stuff. Okay, let's take a look over here at, oh my god. There's a crocodile hunter game that has a lot of water damage to it, unfortunately. There's a puzzle that's still sealed. Maryland. Okay. Not really seeing a whole lot of stuff today at this Goodwill. Cute. What are these called? Little Miss Muffin. Well, she's adorable. Little Miss Muffin. That's cute too. This here is a vintage play school plush. It's supposed to make noise. It might just need a new battery. It's pretty, like, gross. It needs clean. Um, I'm not going to get it, though, just because there's no solds, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to work or get it cleaned, for that matter. So we're just going to pass on it. Alrighty, I'm going to probably head to the shoes next. See if we can find anything over there. Actually, I'm going to take a look over here at the frames and stuff. I never really look over here, in all honesty. Alright guys, so here's the part where I had to switch over to voice narration because uh, this Goodwill, the radio, is right above where the linens and shoes are. Um, they're playing some great 80s music, let me tell you, but unfortunately YouTube does not like that. Uh, so I'm just kind of meandering around the linens here, but I didn't find anything. So heading on over to the shoes, unfortunately... Um, didn't find a whole lot over in the shoe section. Um, just the shoes weren't in the best condition, one. And two, there wasn't really any super amazing brands um, that I had seen. I did see a couple of Clarks, which I do like to pick up. But uh, like I said, the condition of the ones that I saw just weren't the, the best this here was a pair of Clark sandals. They were really cute though. Um, Goodwill, their shoes are pretty much average $7.47, so you definitely want to make sure you can get a decent profit off of the shoes, especially since you're paying about, you know, $8 for a pair of used shoes. Um, I was just checking to see if those were Converse, which they were not. And over here I saw a cute pair of sandals, but again, not really a brand worth picking up. And those were some Keds, but I don't think that they were actually vintage or anything like that. And those were by a company called Tigra or Tiger. <laughs> they weren't Converse. Kind of sparse selection in the shoes, in all honesty. There was a lot of um, empty spaces. I got sidetracked by some... 
glitzy silver heels there, and I think those were some J. Crew flats, which were also really cute, but was not interested. These here were by a company called Mid Midore? Midori. Um, it actually was a decent brand, but there was a lot of wear on the um, soles. Alright guys, so I am done at the first Goodwill. Hold up, let me just get this. Yeah, here we go. Um, the hard goods section just, I don't know, there wasn't much there to choose from. I did end up putting some stuff back that I did have in my cart. I've been a little particular today. Um, but I did go through the clothes and I found a lot of Torrid and just some good clothes. And it's gotten me excited because... Uh, clothing sales have been really well uh, going really well for me lately and it's kind of just like putting a spark back into wanting to buy and sell clothing because sometimes I get in a little bit of a clothing slump but since sales have been so good with clothes um, you know I was getting excited finding some good clothes um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the haul